won the Winter Classic, buddy. You ready to do the video? Oh, yeah, bud. All right, let's go outside. Come on. Outside. <coughs> oh, geez, sorry, buddy. I got a case of the nopes. Leafs win 2-1 in the shootout over the Detroit Red Wings in the Winter Classic. It's like a regular season game, but specially -er. And in honor of that, we are going to be doing this video outdoors. It's actually much colder right now than it was at the Winter Classic. It is minus 20 Celsius. For my American friends, that's minus four Fahrenheit. And for some of the viewers who have no concept of how cold that is, like uh, the Aussies, um, it's bloody cold. So Winter Classic festivities. Oh, snow's gonna get on the lens. <laughs> Felix Podvin at the alumni game, right? Love you, Felix. And at 25, I'm definitely not old, but I'm old enough that my childhood idols are in the alumni game now. And you youngins may laugh, but one day you'll be like, hey look, it's Phil Kessel in the alumni game. In 2020, when they find a way to replicate the Sky Dome and stack them on top of each other and have a new record crowd of 120,000 or something. How much do you think Leaf tickets will cost by then? Focus. It's hard to focus when there's a train in the distance. Well, that's what you gotta do. You gotta battle the elements in these situations. Beautiful anthem, beautiful scenery, and they're shoveling two minutes into the game. And I'm like, oh, how many times are they gonna do this? But kudos to the crew because it didn't really seem to slow them down that much. Nothing too noteworthy offense-wise from the first period. Uh, Joffrey Lupul, though, let that be the first question of the game. Do you think Joffrey Lupul should get suspended for the cross-check to the neck of Patrick Eves? Because, well, it's not something you traditionally get suspended for. It's a cross-check to the neck. You need your neck. It's, like, really important. You can't go suspending all cross-checks, but Maybe the ones to the neck. Second period, Alfredson scores on a two-on-one. Ugh, because of course. Go away, Daniel, nobody likes you. Any high stick for enough right in the chops? I hit the chair. Alicia Cuthbert probably watching that game like, no, I have to kiss those. Fred, not Alicia, this story has a happy ending. Because the Leafs raised the bar with JVR. As, of course, is tradition. I got a boogie. You watch on like multiple replays, you're like, how did he do that? And the answer is one, he plays a lot of chell, and two, he's sick, and three, you can't see my fingers. Some good chances going back and forth and back and forth. And then the Leafs, guess what? They take the lead. That was cold. I shouldn't have touched my face. Phaneuf puts a floater on net. Tyler Bozak tips it. 2-1. And I don't know if it was the weird angle of the camera, but it definitely looked like a high stick. But they reviewed it, and the NHL's got a lot more cameras than I do, so I assume they were right. Also, it went in the Leafs' favor, so of course they were right. Some Red Wings fans will point out that goal would have never gone in had the Leafs not been on the power play for a covering up the puck with the hands penalty. And if you think that call was debatable, that's fine. Just remember, Phaneuf got a high stick to the chops that was never called. The refs. Works both ways. Justin Abdelkader scored because he's a terrible person and wanted to make the fans sit in the cold for much longer. Tied game, we're going into overtime. In overtime, Henrik Zetterberg on the brick. What? What happened? Why did... They, what? They stopped it? Well, why did they stop it? Apparently, halfway through overtime, to make it fair, they blow the horn and the team switch sides. So it's a regular season game, but bun your rules. Something tells me no matter how windy it is, they're gonna change that rule next year. Maybe put an asterisk on it, like, if I'm on a breakaway, then never mind. We go to the shootout. JVR stopped a quick little thing. Come on, you know I love JVR. You know I love how he was four for four to start the season with the shootout, but he's been stopped in four straight. This one, I mean, he tried a sick move on snowy ice. I'll chalk it up to that. But he always comes in on the right, on that on that little, he always comes in the same way. And he's got a couple moves in close to keep him versatile, but I'd like to see him switch it up. Coming from the other side, the goalies wouldn't know what to do. Oh wow, I haven't seen him come in from the other way since last year. The analysts were screaming at players to shoot the puck, and guess what Joffrey Lupel did? Besides getting me preggers. And then Bozak won the Winter Classic! <laughs> Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> now you guys know some of the things I've said about Bozak in the past, and how he shouldn't be a number one center on this team, and yada yada. 15 points in 18 games. I got nothing bad to say. He's not Datsuk. He's not Crosby. But if he keeps it up, he's fine with me. And Kadri played well with JVR and Kessel in spurts, but not nearly consistently enough to say that he should be getting the job over Bozak. Maybe one day, but eh, eh. Not to mention there's like trade rumors on Kadri now. Speaking of trade rumors, uh, there was a trade right before the Winter Classic. John Michael Owls and prospect Dennis Robertson for Tim Gleason. How will this trade work out? We'll have to see. Now I'm going to wrap this up because I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kneeling on ice and the camera is starting to yell at me it doesn't like that it's this cold <laughs> oh electronics it's only minus 20 thank you very much for watching the special edition of lfr once again my name is steve dangle follow me on twitter at steve underscore dangle like this video if you liked it subscribe if you really liked it and i will see you next time from inside where it's warm and nice and warm